Hey, what's up guys? Rather here with Dirt and Iron. You see those two empty dirt bike stands behind me? Today in this video, we're gonna talk about my empty garage. So stick around. So some time ago, I just wanted to test the waters and I put my WR and KTM uh, for sale. And uh, I didn't really know if I want to sell it or not. I was thinking if uh, I can get a good amount and uh, you know, for right people, uh, I'll be ready to sell it. But then uh, after everything is done and I'm missing these two bikes, I feel a little bit sad. You know, for my WR, that was, uh, I was sure that I'm gonna sell that dirt bike because it was just a project bike. I got it for some time, I was working on it. I did a bunch of videos and I had this experience. I could share it, so it was great. I made the bike run really sweet and then I sold it to a new owner. Actually, I was very happy with this transaction because one of you bought the dirt bike one of you who's actually my subscriber came to pick it up. Uh, he lives uh, not far from me, he lives in Temecula. And uh, I'm gonna show you the picture. He come, his name is Oscar and his son Adam, they come together to pick it up. Adam is starting riding dirt bike, he's now 15 years old and his dad, Oscar, wanting to get a dirt bike so they can ride together. So I was really happy I could be part of that, you know, family activity. And my WR450 is now part of their family and uh, I'm really happy because it's a really good uh, home. But KTM, you know, is a little bit different. KTM wasn't a project bike. You know, KTM wasn't just something I got to do a few videos. This is actually all I have left from my KTM. You know, I got the KTM about two years ago. Pretty much uh, about the same time I was starting this channel. And actually, my best video on a channel that has a lot of likes, a lot of views, uh, is from the time when I was buying this KTM. The title is... Uh, how to buy used dirt bike on Craigslist. And I think also many of you probably came uh, to my channel through that video. And uh, man, we've, we've been together for a long time and we had really good, good time. We went to many trips together and uh, I was working on this bike and getting a lot of mud. So it is, uh, it's kind of sad to let her go. But you know, sometimes uh, it's also in the life. You have to be open to let go of all things so then something new can come. So the guy came and he wanted to buy a dirt bike for his daughter's boyfriend because he wanted to ride together with him. So this was a surprise and uh, he came also, he offered a good price and uh, I kind of like that uh, the motive that he's buying the bike. So I let her go. But now when everything is said and done and I have these two empty stands in my garage, uh, it's, it's a little bit sad. I didn't just want to let uh, KTM go like that. I wanted to give her a proper goodbye. So hopefully you enjoy this video. I'm out here on my own With a million things to say Describing how I felt When I left you yesterday I said out on the street That I've given so much for the miles in between Make me miss you even more And still I seem to smile Picturing your face The passion in your eyes The warmth of your embrace It shivers down my spine Long and cold The hands of time They hold strong Like a love that keeps hanging home I'd rather fall from grace Than live our lives apart Just remember when man is more That our love has come this far Still I seem to smile Picture in your face The passion in your eyes The warmth of your embrace It shivers down my spine 
Goodbye KTM, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. This bus is actually all I have left from my KTM, plus the stand and the stand for WR. But I can promise you that very soon we're going to put at least one of these stands and the handlebars in a good use. So stay tuned to my channel because probably there's something new coming very soon. Alright guys, that's about it for today and don't forget, whatever you do, Stay motivated. See you guys later.